hello everyone welcome to my channel so what I have for you guys today is just a watch me type of video where you guys will actually see me do a part one revamp on this wig um, it's actually not mine so I'd like to say thank you so much to my beautiful client for the love and continuous support so what I'm going to start by doing is in this part I am actually detangling the hair so what I decided to do is then use a petal brush and not use the normal um, I don't know what they call the tangling brush the one with the thin, thinner bristles I didn't use that I decided to go on the to go using the petal brush only because it is much stronger and the hair was quite quite very crusty so I tried to soften not to really, yeah, try to soften, detangle the hair at the same time. forget to like subscribe to my channel and also share and also comment down below let me know what you think of today's content This is how she looked after the whole detangling process and in the meantime I had her hot bath getting ready on the other side so in this time this time I decided not usually I would use a pot but this time I decided to go in using this um, handmade Anne which is quite good and I didn't actually because it's curls curls is not like straight hair with straight hair I would normally just boil using my pot on a stove but in this instance i felt you know it's curly hair curly hair i do not want to destroy the curls so i decided to use this bucket so i went in with a little bit of apple cider as you have seen apple cider is well known to actually um remove build up products on, on on hair on dirty hair so I've used it a quite a lot of times on my on my wigs especially because I use a lot of products when it comes to customization and and also daily depending on how dry my hair will be so in this um, moment what I'm actually doing is I am okay the the, the bath has been warming up so I put in the apple cider and I will actually just leave it leave the hair in there for about five minutes and so after five minutes then I will then go in with my second product so so the whole bath time will be together put together it's for 20 minutes the first five minutes is just for the apple cider to actually um, get into and do what it does best and then the second the second part which it will be for 15 minutes it's when i will then go in with my shampoo please note it's not conditioner it's shampoo <music> let it boil to a point where it's like not overheating as soon as the the water starts boiling unplug and just let the wig sit there for 15 minutes also keep on checking on it make sure that all is still fine <music> Here we are look how gorgeous this curls be looking 
so I'm just gonna go in with another product the Moroccan oil curl control mousse this basically helps fight freeze and also softens the hair so because I didn't go in with the conditioner only because I will be washing the hair after the wig has been done <music> to air dry overnight and this is me now just removing the webs from the stocking cap it was actually very very easy because now the hair was nice and clean and it was manageable because there was a little bit of product the hair was washed it was clean so no damage to, to the webs you'll see at the end also the stocking cap came out without I didn't even have to I didn't have to cut the stocking cap out I just cut out the wool removed the webs and that was it of part one see you next week for part two me constructing the wig love you guys bye